Hello, and welcome to this Bomb Portal training series presentation where we are continuing to look at in depth the features and best practices of this application. In this video, we are looking at the Bomb Portal dashboard panel. This is a very nice and powerful panel in the Bomb Portal with a tremendous amount of information. Our objective in this presentation is to show the purposes, uses, and features of the dashboard panel. The main purpose of the dashboard panel is to consolidate in a central location all the information for your bomb. This information is clearly displayed with the use of colorful charts in the areas of bomb health, manufacturability, compliance, supply chain, and factory lead times. The structure of the dashboard is very unique in the sense that it first has the charts and then has a view of your complete bomb in table form. You can easily change the view based on either to go to the table or to the charts. And you can drill deeper into your bomb simply by hitting any of the items on the chart itself by clicking one and it filters into that information. You can reset those filters by hitting reset. The first thing we want to consider on the dashboard panel is the bomb health. Now, this is very nice because what, what it does is it's consolidated together all the information throughout the bomb portal into a nice convenient graph. This is broken down according to manufacturability procurability, and compliance. By clicking on any one of these items, you can see the details of those components that have those issues. But furthermore, that you can see those issues in each one of the detail charts below it. For example, you see here we have eight issues of compliance. You can see those eight issues right here according as it's broken down according to Rojas or REACH. The next chart we want to take a look at is manufacturability. Here, we look at the life cycles of the components by seeing if they've been discontinued or not recommended for new designs. We also see the ones that are unknown. The other side of the manufacturability chart is the alternate components and the amount of the, your bomb that is covered by those components. You can easily then see by clicking on that and going to your tables what those components are. And once again, you can reset that by hitting reset. The next item is your compliance. This is broken down according to Rojas or REACH. Now in the future, we do intend to provide other compliances and other requirements that would be here. As you can see, you can drill down into the information in your bomb and see the details of exactly which component has certain issues. The next area is your supply chain. This is broken down into two areas, which is your bomb coverage and availability. In the bomb coverage, it, it looks at your suppliers of who you intend to purchase the components from. It also identifies those components that might be unprocured and do not have a supplier. Now, this is an area that is constantly changing. This is a the dynamics aspect of working with components and procuring them. And this is an area that will be constantly changing. So it's very important as you're running through your project to constantly be looking at your supply chain, your availability, and making sure that there hasn't been any changes. These suppliers can be set up on your bomb settings in this location. The other side of the supply chain is your availability. We're looking at these suppliers and we're determining if they have the supply that you need for your build. It also then shows the components that are out of stock and are no longer available. The most exciting part and most exciting chart that I find in the dashboard panel is the factory lead time. Now, this is such a great view of your design and your project and where it stands. Now, before considering this though, you wanna look, this is all driven by your bomb settings 
and the due date that you have set here. That will then be placed into your component list and it will then identify those components that fall outside of that due date criteria. It will then place those on the chart based on when the expected arrival time for those specific components. As you can see, we have one component that is 24 weeks out. This is a, a unique chart because it identifies those components that will actually maybe cause some problems for your design it could take only one component to destroy that timeline on your project. By taking this information and working through the problems inside your bomb, it's now time to consider actually purchasing the components. This is conveniently done through the OctoCart feature in, in the bomb portal. Here we see that we've decided we are using uh, Mauser, DigiKey, and Arrow. Here you can buy the component directly from the bomb portal location and then it will go into the DigiKey website where you can conveniently check out. Now keep in mind that there may be multiple issues on your components. You can find these issues by going to your table and just simply hovering over this and you then see what the issues are.